Hey guys, this is my review of the Verpal Ace pedals. Before I start the review, I will quickly go over the different versions of these pedals. The Ace Interceptor, Ace Flight, and Ace Collection. The Interceptor has half foot pedals, the Flight has full foot pedals, and the Collection comes with both, allowing the user to swap between the two. Verbal also sells the Warbird pedals, which are the same thing as the Interceptor, but without the toe brakes. The Torque pedals are technically also part of the Ace series, but those have a very different design and would require their own review. I have the Interceptor, so that's what you'll be seeing in this video, but almost everything that I go over will apply exactly the same for the other versions. In the box, you get the rudder assembly and the foot pedal assemblies. You get two main springs, a long stiff one and a short weak one. The short one is installed by default. You get two cam sets, one with a hard center and one with a soft center. You can tell the difference between the two by looking at the notches. The soft center cams have two notches and the hard center cams only have one. The hard center cams are installed by default. You get an 80 inch USB cable and a few wrenches and hex keys for assembling and disassembling the pedals. You get a card with a QR code which will lead you to the website with the instruction manuals. I will have a link to the website in the description section of this video. The product also comes with a 14-day return policy and a two-year warranty. The rudder pedals are made completely of metal. The bottom of the pedals have eight rubber foot pads. The pedal assembly can be detached from the legs if you would like to bolt it to something. The toe brakes have adjustable angle and tension, and the top foot pads have adjustable length. The port for the cable is located on the right side of the pedals. The pedals come with high precision contactless sensors, which allow for very precise control during play. The pedals are pretty wide, which is convenient for use with a center mounted stick. The pedals come mostly ready to use. All that you have to do is to attach the foot pedal assemblies and plug the USB cable into your PC. The pedals can easily be attached by removing the bottom foot pedal from the pedal mount, screwing the pedal mount onto the rudders, and reattaching the bottom foot pedals. Changing cams is simple. First, remove the main springs. The cams are each held down with a bolt. Use one wrench to hold the bolt in place and the other wrench to unscrew the nut. Do this for both sides. Remove both of the cams, then put the new cams on and retighten the nuts. The cams have four hooks on them which are used to hold the springs. The two outer hooks are used for the longer stiff spring and the inner hooks are used for the weak spring. You can attach both springs if you want to. In order to adjust the angle of the pedals, there are four screws for each pedal which need to be loosened. Use the hex key to hold the screw in place and use the wrench to loosen the nut. Access to this front inner screw will be blocked, so you'll need to press down on the pedal in order to put the hex key in. Once all nuts are loosened, you can adjust the pedal to the angle you would like and tighten the screws. The position of the top foot pedal can be changed by unscrewing the two screws on each side of the pedal, moving it up or down to the desired position, and retightening the screws. The toe brake tension can be adjusted by moving the toe brake springs to this lower notch. In order to do this, you must first remove the pedal mount by unscrewing the bottom foot pedal and then unscrewing the pedal mount from the frame. Then use a hex key to remove the spring, hook the bottom of the spring to the lower notch, and then reattach it. Then reattach the pedal mounts. Verpal has software that you can download which will allow you to calibrate the pedals. Go to their website, hover over Support Portal, and click Software. Download the latest release of the VPC software and install it into your PC. Open the VPC Configuration tool, click Axis, and Calibrate Axes. Move all the axes to their extreme limits and then return them to their neutral positions. When you're done, click Save Calibration to Profile, and then click Save VPC Device at the top. I won't be going over anything else in this software. The only problem that I've ever had with these pedals was when one of the brake springs snapped. I contacted Verpal Support and since my pedals were still under warranty, they sent me two new springs for free. The best part of these pedals is definitely the all metal construction. Just from picking them up, you can tell that they're not going to be falling apart anytime soon. The most important thing to be keeping in mind with these is to know which version you want. Overall, these are excellent rudder pedals and I would mention them to someone who's looking to buy some. Thanks for watching this video guys, I'll see you later.